the Titans. Rhea. Rhea, the daughter of Gaia and Uranus, was a Greek Titan and the mother of the Olympians. Along with the other Titans, Rhea was imprisoned in Tartarus by her tyrannical father. She was eventually liberated by her brother Cronus, whom she married. Rhea gave birth to the Olympian deities and through her cunning, helped them overthrow Cronus and establish a new cosmic order. Hailed as mother of the gods, Rhea was revered across the Hellenic world. She was especially popular on the island of Crete, where the infant Zeus was said to have come of age. Rhea was also held in high regard by the Orphics, who believed that she had conceived the goddess Persephone with her son Zeus. In art and literature, she was often conflated with Cybele, an Anatolian mother goddess whose cult was imported to the Greek world in the 4th century BCE. A standard folk etymology of the name Rhea or Rhea, and the one endorsed by Plato in Cratylus claimed that Rhea was a feminine form of the ancient Greek verb Rhea, meaning to flow, discharge, or stream. Modern scholars have also suggested possible connections with the Greek words Rhea or Rhea easily, Era Earth, and Oros Mountain. Alternatively, Rhea's name may be Semitic in origin, with possible connections to the root meaning friend. Many of Rhea's epithets and cult titles related to her maternal role, including Meta, meaning mother, Meta Theon, mother of the gods, Meta Megali, great mother, and Meta Ori, mountain mother, other epithets, such as Dindemen Cyplon and Idea, linked Rhea to sites that were sacred to her. There were several alternate forms of Rhea's name in the ancient world, including Rhea, Re, and Rai. She was also frequently identified with the goddesses Cybele or Cybeb, Agdistis, and Metathean, mother of the gods, while the Romans called her Ops. Rhea was a mother goddess, beloved for her nurturing compassion. From relatively early on, she was closely identified with the Phrygian mother goddess Cybele, as a result, the attributes of the two goddesses became largely indistinguishable for most of Greek and Roman history. Rhea and Cybele were regarded as one and the same. Like Cybele, Rhea was generally represented as wearing a tall crown or veil, and seated on a throne. Also like Cybele, Rhea held lions as sacred. She was often shown with lions sitting beside her throne or even riding a chariot pulled by lions. In Greece, the oak tree was also sacred to Rhea. The Triumph of Cybele, painted by Pinturicchio in 1509, depicted as Cybele, Rhea is shown in a cart pulled by a pair of lions, and is held at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, USA. At the heart of Rhea's, or Cybele's retinue, were the curates of Corybantes, ecstatic priests who worshipped her with tambourines, cymbals, and drums. As Cybele, Rhea was also associated with Attis, an ill-fated youth sometimes represented as her consort, and the hermaphroditic Agdistis. Rhea was the daughter of Gaia, the primordial goddess of the earth, and Uranus, the primordial god of the skies. Their union brought forth not only Rhea, but the other titans as well, Oceanus, Kuas, Crius, Hyperion, Iapetus, Thea, Themis, Nimosine, Phoebe, Tethys, and Cronus. Rhea's other siblings included the Cyclops Brontes, Arges, Anstropes, and the Hecatonchies, Cottos, Briarios, and Gigas. Rhea married her younger brother Cronus, and together they had six children, Demeter, Hades, Hera, Hestia, Poseidon and Zeus. By way of her children's extensive sexual liaisons, Rhea was grandmother to a significant portion of the Greek pantheon, including Ares, Hephaestus, Athena, Artemis, Apollo, Hermes and Dionysus. According to Hesiod's Theogony, the 8th century BC epic explaining the origins of the gods and the Greek cosmic order, Rhea was the daughter of Gaia Earth and Uranus Heaven.
She was one of the deities known as the Titans. But Uranus, the father of the Titans, was a mean and jealous god who imprisoned his children in the dim bowels of Tartarus so they could not usurp his dominion. Uranus' fears, as it turned out, were well-founded. Cronus, the youngest of the Titans, eventually overthrew his father with the help of Gaia, severing the genitalia of the sky god and casting them. Into the sea, Cronus then became ruler not only of the Titans, but of the whole cosmos. Part of the Pergamum altar, this frieze shows Rhea, whose face has been obliterated, riding a lion. Constructed in the early 2nd century BCE at the direction of Eumenes II of Pergamum, in Asia Minor in modern Turkey, and is held in the Pergamum Museum, Berlin, Germany. Cronus married his sister Rhea, and together they had many children. But the fears that had haunted his father also troubled Cronus. He became suspicious of his children and decided to swallow each of them, as they emerged from the womb to prevent any rebellion. Hesiod writes that, when Rhea gave birth to Hestia, Demeter, Hera, Hades, and Poseidon, the great Cronus swallowed as each came forth from the womb to his mother's knees with this intent, that no other of the proud sons of heaven should hold the kingly office amongst the deathless gods. For he learned from earth and starry heaven that he was destined to be overcome by his own son, strong though he was through the contriving of great Zeus. Therefore he kept no blind outlook, but watched and swallowed down his children, and unceasing grief seized Rhea. Upon conceiving her sixth child Zeus, Rhea hatched a scheme to spare the baby from Cronus' jaws, and thereby save the others as well. When the agonies of childbirth seized her, Rhea sped towards Crete in the company of her mother, Gaia. Shortly after Zeus was born, Gaia whisked him to safety and raised him with all the care Mother Earth could provide. To complete her deception, Rhea offered Cronus a rock wrapped in the swaddling clothes of a newborn. In time, Zeus matured to manhood and fulfilled his destiny, overthrowing Cronus and establishing a new world order on Mount Olympus. The bulk of Rhea's mythos involves her role as mother and savior of the Olympian gods, however, there were a handful of other myths about her. In another myth, Rhea found her husband Cronus being unfaithful to her with Philera, one of the Oceanids, caught red-handed, Cronus transformed himself into a horse and galloped away. Philera, meanwhile, became the mother of the centaur Chiron. Rhea also played a role in the myths of the Olympians and is featured in two of the Homeric hymns. According to the second Homeric hymn to Demeter, it was Rhea who persuaded the heartbroken Demeter to rejoin the company of the gods after her daughter Persephone was kidnapped by Hades. In the third Homeric hymn to Apollo, Rhea is among the divine midwives of Leto when she gives birth to Apollo. Finally, there were some traditions in which Rhea was the one who taught Dionysus the rituals of his cult. Rhea was worshipped widely throughout the ancient world under a variety of names. There was an ancient temple of Rhea in the city of Nosos on Crete. Another early temple to the Titan, called the Metrum, was nestled in the courtyard of the giant temple of Olympian Zeus in Athens. As Cybele, Rhea was worshipped throughout Asia, particularly in Asia Minor. She had major cults on Mount Cypolis, Mount Codinus, and across the region of Phrygia, in what is now the northwestern coast of Turkey. There, Cybele had temples in the cities of Dindima and Pessinus, where she was called Agdistis. It was said that the sacred image of Cybele, Agdistis, Rhea at Pessinus had fallen from heaven. While references to Rhea are rare in popular culture, her name has appeared in a few non-mythical contexts. For example, the fifth moon orbiting the planet Saturn was named for her a fitting choice, as Saturn itself was named after her father's Roman analogue. First discovered by Italian astronomer Giovanni Domenico Cassini in 1672, the moon was initially called Saturn V and dedicated to King Louis XIV. 
Cassini's French patron. The English astronomer John Herschel renamed it Rhea in 1847, ostensibly in order to maintain consistency with other planets bearing the names of Greek and Roman deities. Rhea was also used to name a species of retite a group of large, long-legged, and flightless birds native to South America and distantly related to both the emu and ostrich. Why the Titan's name was bestowed upon this bird remains a mystery. Thanks for watching. Smithology. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell for upcoming videos.